And the, yeah, so, so, I mean, I'll spare you the gory details, but my, maybe one of the things is that, right. Uh, so a scheme, right. Given that it was this really, I mean, it was this, this example for many years of this beautiful language report, right. It was just 50 pages. It was, you could really just read it. You wouldn't have to like decipher the symbols to figure out what it meant or whatever. You just read it and you could understand it. And so, and it had this famous forward. Uh, where it says, you know, programming languages should not be designed by piling features upon features, but instead, okay, so, but instead it should, by removing the obstacles that, that prevent the existing features from being combined. I think that's almost verbatim, it, right? And it sounds so beautiful, right? And it gives you this impression that Scheme is this programming language where things are do, being done right, right? In the, in the right way. And this is not just, I mean, it's not just true to the scheme community. I think in a lot of other functional programming communities, sub-communities, there's also this idea of that there's one way to do things right. And the scheme people thought, well, the right way of doing things is represented. And everything where it's not clear what's right, such as the records, right, we're just not in the report. Uh, so, so I think that's kind of the attitude with which a lot of people, including myself, approached this report, that we were, that we were going to do things right.